Now, the undercarriage of a pedal steel guitar can be a little mysterious. It's not often seen once the instrument's all set up and, and, and being played. But as you can see, there are devices called knee levers. This is the, what's going to be the, the pedal board. I'll be putting that together in a moment. But as you can see, all these rods that go across here, these are, actuate the, the cams that stretch or loosen the strings. And we'll use a, a knee lever as a demonstration. You can see as you move the lever, it's attached to a bell crank here as a cross shaft, which in turn is attached to several other bell cranks, transferring the energy laterally to the cams on the bridge. So every time you move a knee lever, and there on this guitar there are five, this one pushes upward with your knee, they all activate different sets of strings and tune them in either half steps or whole steps, up or down, depending on how you've got it set up. And this mechanism here is, is the underside of the bridge. You can see the springs, which help to return the spring to it, or the string to its uh, original tension. Most of what's inside there is undercover, and it would be difficult to disassemble that to demonstrate how the cams in there work. So I'm not even going to try that. If you look at the underside of the tuning mechanism, it, this is a keyless guitar. There are no tuning machines like there would be on a standard guitar or uh, many other pedal steel guitars. These use uh, just little roller thumb knobs, that uh, thumb screws that change the pitch of the string up and down. But that's the underside of that.